G'day all, it's Colin from PC TLC and thanks for joining me. In this video we are going to take a look at sim linking our home folders. So we've already created our data partition during install and auto mounted it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create, uh, we're going to sim link our home folders to that. So we've uh, navigate to our partition, our data partition and we'll create our folders starting with documents. Okay, so that's the home folders done. Now, if we have a look in our home folder and show hidden files, we also have Mozilla Thunderbird. Now, um, I don't normally do this, but we're going to have a look at this anyway. So what I've done is got some shortcuts here to my YouTube channel, Destination Linux, Big Daddy Linux, Distro Watch, and also the same thing I've done on Google Chrome, Distro Watch, PC TLC. Destination Linux and a Big Daddy Linux. Okay, so we're going to sim link those folders as well. So if we have a look in here, we've got the Mozilla one. So what we want to do is you want to copy that Mozilla folder to here, paste that, and also in the home folder we have .config, and under .config we have Google Chrome. So we'll copy that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is um, I'm going to, now that I've copied those over, I'm going to go back to the home folder and I'm going to delete Mozilla, move that to rubbish bin, and under .config I'm going to delete Google Chrome. So we've moved them to the rubbish bin, but we can always restore them later if needed be. So back to our home folder, um, let's unselect show hidden files for now. We go back to our data partition. Now what we're going to do is if we right click, there's nothing to make a link for that. So what we need to do is we need to go to preferences, which has changed now I believe, there it is, preferences. And I think it's under behavior, show action to create symbolic links. So let's do that. Now we are in our, just make sure we're in our data partition. Yep, so we we'll right click and create link. Create link. So we also need to um, show hidden files because we need to create link to the .mozilla as well so we've done that. So now what we need to do is go back to home so we don't confuse ourselves let's just remove hidden files for now. Now documents uh, hold the control key down documents download music pictures and videos let's move them to trash or the rubbish bin Go back to our, maybe we should be doing this with another window, might be easier. So we've got our home folder and we've got our data partition. So now what we need to do is copy, hold the control key again, uh, documents, downloads, music, pictures and videos and we cut those and paste them back into our home folder and we need to rename these so if we click the left arrow key that will take us to the start and we just delete the link to name So as you'll see that the um, the folders actually take on the little um, depiction icon inside 
once you rename it back to the original file name. Now the other two we need to do, we need to show hidden files. We need to cut the link to Mozilla, which is in the home folder here. Paste it in there and rename that. And it'll tell you that files with the dot at the beginning uh, of their name are hidden. Yes, we know that, that's fine. And then we go to dot config and then we cut the Google Chrome into there and we rename that. Okay, so that should be it for that. Now, what we can do now, if we go to, um, let's uncheck hidden files, we should be now pointing towards these things here. So if we have a look under here, there will be nothing there to look at. So if we go to our data partition and we create a new folder in here and call it test and that's in documents so if we go back to our home and go to documents the test is on the data partition but you can see that these ones in here are pointing to the data partition now so it doesn't matter whether you do it from here or from here it's pointing to inside these folders so the big test will be um, to try out and make sure the link works for Google Chrome and Firefox. So I might just log out. I'll, I'll actually, I'll do a restart and then I'll just come back and check that out. Okay, so I'm back into the desktop after a reboot. So let's check out Firefox. Should have everything we had before. So it looks like we've got everything that we had there before and if we go to Google Chrome should be the same now um, I just want to check that this is working so what I want to do is I probably want to delete I'm going to move to the rubbish bin no I don't want to set that as default so as you can clearly see they're all there but if we delete those folders in the home directory, the dot Mozilla. Let me move to rubbish bin and dot config and Google Chrome and move that to rubbish bin as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log, I'm going to do another reboot and see the differences with Google Chrome and Firefox. Okay, we're back into the desktop after another reboot. So I've just fired up Simple Screen Recorder. So I'm going to open Firefox and Google Chrome. Now, I'm expecting these to be acting like they haven't been opened before. That's what I'm expecting because there's no actual um, home folder for this. So, And it looks like that is the case. So we don't have any shortcuts or anything in Firefox and we'll open up Google Chrome and I'm expecting the same thing. Now oh, of course Google Chrome is definitely starting from scratch because it wants to make itself the default. <laughs> uh. So as you can see there's no there's no shortcuts or any um, bookmarks available in Chrome or Firefox. So what we could do is we could actually go to our rubbish bin and restore the two sim links. I could do that. Or we could just go back to our data partition and make a create link and Mozilla create link. Uh, new window let's do this with a new window and the home partition so we shall 
delete this dot mozilla and cut that link over to here and rename it and the same with the google chrome link cut that into dot config uh, sorry we need to delete this one first move to rubbish bin and paste that one into there and rename now we should have all that information back in Firefox and Google Chrome and there you have so no matter what see now um, that's another way you can save your information on your web browsers by doing that um, you can also sync Firefox and you can sync Google Chrome. I always use sync. I've never done a backup this way before. Um, just thought it was worthwhile putting in because that is another very handy way of backing up your browser information, especially if you've got a lot of bookmarks going on there. That's just another way to back up just in case your sync fails for some reason. But also it's another very, very quick way of just getting all your information back into your browser on a fresh install. So I just thought I'd slot this video in because I didn't actually show Google Chrome. I don't think I did anyway. So there's the um, bookmarks in Google Chrome and bookmarks in Firefox. I'm not sure if I showed Google Chrome before. But uh, as you can see, all the bookmarks are there as expected with the backup of those uh, home folders. So there's two different uh, installs that I'm doing here. One is with a separate data partition, which is this one here. And, and the next one will be with a separate home partition. Now, on upon install, you can actually choose to use, you can choose the data disk that you create and you can uh, choose to have it installed as forward slash home which means that whole data disk will be used as your home partition and the root drive is separate so the whole home drive will be just for um, everything in home so anything in the home drive currently the only thing in the home drive here is our sim links but if it was separate home then everything in here would be on the data partition because you've selected it to be your forward slash home partition. So that is the next install I'm going to do. Now the difference between the both is with the data partition, you've got to auto mount and you've got to create your sim link. So there's a lot more um, work involved in doing all that. Um, so there's a lot of manual work involved. But the advantage is if you like to distro hop, then all you need to do is do the auto mount and redo the sim links to the current data partition because you don't lose this stuff if you don't touch it. So you can distro hop to any desktop environment, any, um, de uh, de any particular Linux base and any different desktop environment. It doesn't matter what desktop environment it is because all you're going to do is re-establish all your links. With the slash home partition, then that's a different story. So your configuration settings here also relate to the type of desktop environment you're running. Example, the GNOME desktop here. So, a forward slash home, selecting your data partition as your whole home, uh, partition is very handy if you do not plan on distro hopping but you only plan on reinstalling the next long-term support or the next short-term support um, but it will always be the same desktop environment you can reinstall and reinstall it should not matter you can keep the current configurations and you should be fine um, that there shouldn't be any real issues there at all, except if there's a slight change in the, uh, like the GNOME versions, there could be something slightly different that doesn't relate. 
I can't see it as a real huge deal breaker at all, but um, uh, but that would be the advantage of the separate data partition that we're doing right here, right now. The next install will be um, the, the using the whole data partition as your home partition. But this one was the um, separate data partition. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thanks for watching.